What's up guys, I want to do a quick review today on a tool set that I bought. This is Porter Cable and as you can probably tell I'm holding the camera in my hand right now so uh, yeah, forgive the shakiness. Now we're going to start over here. This tool set comes, well we'll start with the with the numbers. Here let's turn some light on so we can get a little, a little more light on the situation. Um, I bought this tool set at Lowe's uh, for $199, um, 20 volt. As you can see right there, everything, ooh, where'd it go? There it is, everything here is 20 volt. Um, we've got a skill saw right there, and this is used. I wanted to use it, you could see the wear on the blade. I wanted to use this a little bit before I actually did a review on it. And uh, just so I knew it was it was decent. And I've, I've really enjoyed it so far. Now, again, what we have here, we've got a 20 volt skill saw. We have a 20 volt, volt sawzall. A 20 volt here we'll flip that up so you could see LED light and a drill um, screw gun whatever you want to call it comes with a 20 volt lithium charger and two batteries well, here we have the 2 amp battery and here we have the 4 amp battery now I can only assume that the 4 amp battery is designed to be used on the two saws I use it on everything though. I use the, the 2 amp and the 4 amp. It, I don't really discriminate over which one gets which battery. I've used the 2 amp battery in the saws too with uh, good luck so far. So the one thing I noticed, I actually did this just today. Oops, we lost focus. Is that gouge? And I did that, it's my fault. But this seems pretty, you know, pretty flimsy right here um, I would assume that could be remedied by just being careful now I've used this to do several repairs around my home and on my truck and including installing all the lattice on the side of my carport and let's see if I can do this with one hand real quick install a battery Ooh, I can't see what I'm doing there we go light is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, if I installed the battery properly, it would probably help. I mean, it's, uh, once it refocuses, you can't really tell too much in here, but we can turn these lights off right now, and we'll turn the light off from the camera. It's, um, yeah, it's a pretty, Pretty decently bright light. Camera light on, shop lights back on. Um, and to be honest with you, I can't tell you how long it takes to charge because I haven't charged it yet. I mean, I charged it up initially, but I haven't charged these batteries. I, I haven't really, really used them a lot, but I haven't had to charge them yet. The skill saw, as you can see, comes with a an Allen wrench there. That is for your blade and yeah I'm not a hundred percent sure what else to say about this stuff I mean I'm pretty impressed with it oh it does come with oh look it fell over Let's pick it back up here it does come with a a fancy little quarter cable carrying case that I got on the front of the tractor right there it's it's just a soft case it, it's got like a little flimsy piece of cardboard kind of in the bottom and I don't really much like the case, but I guess at the end of the day, it does its job to protect the tools that are in it, so I can't complain too terribly much about it. Um, what else can I say about this thing? I mean, I've used them all. I, I, I used the, the drill and the light just today, working on my truck. Like I said, I've used this, I used the Sawzall to cut a lot of the vinyl lattice, or all of the vinyl lattice on my carport and on my fence. I've used the skill saw to do a lot of, um, you know, miscellaneous stuff around the property. I had a bunch of wood that I wanted to cut up, and, well, as a matter of fact, you know, we can cut something right now.
have to excuse my mess on my workbench here. I got, uh, this is kind of an auxiliary workbench, if you will. It's got a bunch of uh, garbage on it, but um, I do have some branches here. It's getting close, inch and three quarter there, so it cuts through that really, really well. Cut, cut through everything up there and it. Now I'm covered in sawdust. But um shake all the garbage out of that. Okay, now we're back filming by hand. Obviously, it's a little more dirtier now. And But as you can see, it cuts. Um, I can show you the saws all work too, but it works, you know. It also comes with, where did I put it? It's over, here it is. It comes with a nice little porter cable, bimetal 5 8 TPI blade. That comes in the kit. I've never really used it. I have a, uh, oops, I don't know what kind of blade. What kind of blade do I have? I have a um, DeWalt, DeWalt blades, I think, that I used in the Sawzall when I needed it. So, anyway, guys, um, that's about all i got to say. Uh, so far, I'm really liking this. I'm really interested to see, you know, into the future how well this stuff works. I... I clean it off every time I use it. I keep it stored in the bag, in my toolbox, and I'm really interested to see how well it works for the long haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If this review helped you, or you think it might help anybody you know, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you next time.